Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Rory Lynch Transport here in Shannon. Now, of course, you all know I have been driving this Scania S580 from new. Now, when it came new, it was sitting on Bridgestone tires. So we then changed them at 88 and a half thousand kilometers to Michelin for the specific reason that we want to test them. How much better or worse, we've yet to find out, are Michelin over Bridgestone? So that was the test that we were doing and that time has now come. So more or less equal mileage has been clocked up on both sets of tires. So let me just take you over here just for a quick look around at some of the figures, okay? So these are the Bridgestones that came off the truck about 11 months ago, okay? These are the rear tires, uh, it's a four by two, and these are the steer tires. So these tires, new had 16.1 mil new thread depth on the bridge stones okay and this is the measurements now they're 9.3 on the front so they're the tires that came off and let me just move over here and show you the figures so these are the bridge stones so the new thread depth is 23.6 mil and this is what they're reading now 14.5 mil on the rear tires and that's the mileage clocked up on the bridge stones 88,458 kilometers so yeah just around 55,000 miles so the lads are just getting ready now to take off the Michelins this is the mileage on the Michelins 88,983 so a small bit more than the Bridgestones that came off so yeah th the lads are gonna take these off now and we're gonna do our measurements just to see are the Michelin HLZs at the front and the Michelin HDDs at the rear, X multis, are they better than the Bridgestones? We're gonna find out that in this video. Now before the lads take off these tires, I just want to show you some footage I shot at T. Nolan and Son Scania. Some more new trucks to show you. Some very nice trucks. So have a look at this bit of footage and join us back here for the results. Oregon Transport have a brand new R770 just about to hit the road. He's got all the spotlights up on the roof and also the light bar up on top and underneath another light bar. So best of luck to them. 3,700 Newton meters of torque from its V8 engine. No shortage of power in this truck. And it's got the tag axle there at the back. So yeah, great power from those. And then we have a 500S there beside it. Uh, they have the sun visor there painted white to match in with the top spots the surrounds there painted white and the uh, air horns up on top are covered in and then yeah we have a g500 there this one also has the light bar up on top four spots and yeah that's a tag axle there at the back and then we have an r450 beside it so let's just move up we have a few more ridges and some more trucks over here to show you so yeah, this one is an R520 XT and it's got the PM crane at the back. So VDL container systems. And yeah, that would be a lot of money <laughs> in this truck. But uh, I've got an even more expensive one to show you uh, shortly. So yeah, the R520 XT and yeah, the steel bumper here and all the protection underneath the front here and also the headlights all protected so no shortage of power from those either and then we have two five axle p450 xt's the concrete mixing truck five axles so yeah you'd be able to carry plenty of weight on those and yeah it's from immer group and they've got the exhaust stack there out the back so oh yeah down here as well we have the new 660s so these are the trucks with the new gearbox that i have yet to drive now nolan's have a 590s as a demo but i haven't driven it yet so i really want to see what this new gearbox is like so let's have a look in at the v8 660 yeah plenty of power and your add blue tank there as well so yeah quite a long chassis on this one it extends out Quite a long way out the back okay your 660s and your concrete mixers okay now I'm gonna move over we've got four brand new 450 S's 
lined up here and then ch check this out this 650s wait until you see the configuration on this four axle tractor unit this one has an even bigger crane out the back an effer crane 1355 and they have the exhaust stack out the back there your add blue tank is here uh, look at the radiators here for the whole crane system that is I mean how much money are we talking here this is huge money for this tractor unit uh, but this whole crane system look how much space it's taking up on the chassis <laughs> like, that is uh, quite a crane so I'd really like to know the total weight of this tractor unit I wonder if I can find out at all I'll uh, I'll try and flash it up on screen there the total weight but yeah and it's also got a tow hook there at the back so yeah that's quite good down here at Nolan's okay you remember I had a problem on the Scania S580 with water coming into the headlight this is the headlight taken off the truck so it's been replaced with a new one and yeah it just kept letting in water there and it would never dry out so this whole lens here on the headlight is all bonded on and you cannot change it you have to get a whole new headlight unit and this is 834 euro plus VAT so yeah huge money for the headlight LED and yeah thankfully it's been changed under warranty but yeah I just think it was a bit of a pain that it was letting in all of this water I mean the older truck I was driving for six years never had a problem but uh, yeah, yeah, less than two years old and letting in water. But anyway, it's been changed under warranty. Okay, you now join me behind the wheel of the Scania S580 back here at Rory Lynch Transport for the comparison between the Michelins and the Bridgestones. So let me just quickly show you the mileage that I have on the Scania S580 so there you go 177,441 kilometers so yeah there is more mileage on the Michelins than on the Bridgestone only just slightly so I'm just going to climb down here because I just want to show you the torque bar so we will be torquing the nuts of course up to 650 newton meters which is just under 480 pound foot of torque and that's our extended bar there for the back nuts and by the way when you're putting these torque bars back in the box you're supposed to set them back to zero um, to look after them and that is the socket there I hear a helicopter coming in there that is the rescue helicopter Shannon rescue helicopter there you go okay and the guys are just putting back on the back tires now you're probably wondering why are they taking the tires off the rims well, given that the opportunity is here for them to do it and we're doing this test, we may as well just swap around the tires just to have them wear evenly throughout their life. May as well do it since they're down here and we will be giving you the results shortly and the front ones still have to come off. Let's just talk about tire pressures now these are the Bridgestones these were pumped up to 120 psi on the front the rears were pumped up to 110 psi they are the Bridgestones if we move over to the Michelins these were pumped up to 90 psi 90 so lower than the Michelins and these are pumped up the fronts Michelins pumped up to 130 psi so more pressure in the front Michelins over the Bridgestones and here we have Trevor Burns from Michelin Ireland. Trevor are you confident with how the results are going to go? Yeah I'm very happy with what <laughs> I see so far. So let's quickly go over to Paddy from Midland and he is now taking the measurements on the Michelins. How is it looking Paddy? A lot better. Yeah? Yeah. Overall is it? Yeah. Yeah. So we will discuss the figures with Trevor now we did swap around all of these tires so this one was on the outside 
on the passenger side this one was on the inside on the passenger side so we have swapped them vice versa and obviously the same will happen for the front but we won't be swapping left to right on the front Trev no, we will be turning in, around we're turning in position yeah. Yeah, yeah turning in position for the fronts okay so um, let's get the results these are the results so these are the measurements of the Michelins so you can see on the rear we have 16.6 16.5, 16.5, 16.5. This one is 16.6. And then at the front we have 10 mil, okay? So they are the results on the Michelin. Now, Paddy from Midland is going to show us the results on the Bridgestones. <laughs> is Trevor hiding? <laughs> Where's Trevor? <laughs> um, let's have a look. There you have it. 100% the Michelins have performed better. Look, 14.1, 14.7, 14.5, 14.9, and 8.9 and 9.2 on the fronts. So yeah, there you go. The results speak for themselves. Even though from new, the Bridgestones had more thread depth on them than the Michelins, the Michelins have performed better. Okay, so there are the results and of course Trevor from Michelin Ireland is a very happy man because his tires have won the battle of the tire wear. Bridgestone versus Michelin, 55,000 miles on each set of tires, more or less 88,000 kilometers. You're happy, Trev? Yeah, I'd say, I, I'd say at the minute, yeah, quite happy. And yeah. yeah, it's exactly as we would have expected, to be honest with you. Yeah. So, you know, one of the key takeaways from this, Savros, is that the amount of performance per millimetre that uh, our tyres have exhibited uh, so far uh, on, your, on your truck. You know, so we're looking at drive tyres here that are on a mitch are averaging just under 14,000 kilometres per millimetre and steer tyres that are absolutely... Uh, they're almost like new if we look at them and uh, we're, they're showing about just over 21,000 kilometers per millimeters at the, at the minute versus the competitors' tires being around 12,500 for the steers and around 9,800 for the drive. So yeah, we're really happy. And like I say, it's, it's exactly what we would expect from this tire. Yeah. And Trev, you were also saying as well that I can get these tires recut. Yeah, so you know one of the one of the significant things about having a tire starting with less original tread depth mm. and actually performing better through the life of the tire is you know we're using less natural resource to actually uh, to actually make this we're we're using less energy to transport it you're using less time involved in changing tires and importantly you're actually you know your operational costs are reduced yeah. as well but you're right one of the biggest things on this tire is when it gets down to uh, anywhere between yeah. three and five millimeters we can actually recut them and regroove them and gain another three millimeters of life at that stage as well mm. so yeah it's really exciting and it's you know we're only 88,000 into this test so far so it'll be exciting to see ultimately where it ends up so even after the cutting and after the tires have completely worn out they can be sent off to be remixed yeah, so th that's yeah. that's where our tires again come into their own. So this is this really would be br uh, this tire would be brought back, uh, examined, and if it was deemed fit for further use as one of our remix retreaded products, then yes, it can come back into life as a, a remix product back into service, potentially even onto this vehicle if that was something yeah. you wanted to do. And hopefully you'll get to come to see one of our um, you know state of the art factories where we do this and actually witness that for yourself. Stoke on Trent. I'll be going to Stoke on Trent with Trevor and he'll be showing me the Michelin factory where they make the tires and remix the tires and the whole process. Yeah. It's huge. It's pretty ex <laughs> it's exciting as tires go. So stand by for that video guys. That will come hopefully in the next couple of months maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So there you have it. The results are in. Michelin have won above the Bridgestone. Now, don't get me wrong, Trev. A lot of people still like Bridgestone. Of course, yeah. We're never going to run down that tire. So do they prefer them over the Michelin? Well, obviously I wouldn't now that I see the results, but a lot of people still prefer Bridgestone. So we don't want to run down that tire at all. No, no. It's, no. Like I said, this is what's happened on your vehicle in this test. Yeah. yeah. So there you have it, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please do tune in again for another video coming again soon. Thanks a million for watching. Take care. Cheers! And the guys from Midland are just heading away. That's not a horn.
go. Who, who's louder, guys? Comment below.